guys, my name is Rain, and some of you guys might know me as that Kanye girl on TikTok. Like, you know what I mean? And this is my kitchen. Actually, this is the clean kitchen area of our house. We have a dirty kitchen outside, which is where we cook ulam, ganyan. But I'm going to be here at our nook, which is where Kanye girl has her breakfast. My favorite area of peace and quiet in the morning before my online classes right. start. So today, I will be sharing with you guys a super quick lang na parang um, food that I eat in the morning. This is my breakfast usually or like even my snack at night or in the afternoon while I'm studying because I don't want to get super full. I just want to have like enough nutrients, enough energy for me to finish the tasks of the day. You get what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, okay. I will be showing you guys how I prepare my yogurt cups. I know that my yogurt cup looks like really small but I promise you it will make you guys fall. So first and foremost, I take my yogurt, and um, it's not a yogurt cup without yogurt, but you can choose whatever yogurt you want. I have tried like one uh, fruit flavored, but it's just not my taste. <laughs> I like this one better because the other ingredients are already sweet. Your yogurt doesn't really have to fill the brim of the cup that you're using, or um, well, for me, I just like using a smaller cup, and then I add about like one fourth to until one fourth of the cup or one third of the cup. I fill it with yogurt at the very bottom because I've tried adding more yogurt before. Pero parang like it's not ano kasi, It's just not my vibe. Like it's too uh, it's too asiam and. I don't have space left for the other ingredients, so I just keep it to one third or one fourth of the cup. That's how much I fill it. Super bubble. I already added the granola. You can just eyeball it however much you want, and whatever choice of granola you have, there is no judging in this place. And what I super love about yogurt cups, kasi is parang you don't really need to like. Um, have a recipe for it and it's not an ulam you're not baking you don't need to measure anything so anything goes and it's great for like when you just woke up and you don't want to think too much about what you're gonna eat right it's already here I like my granola about the same amount as my yogurt because I just like having everything covered and I don't know for me it's just tastier so it's totally, totally up to you if you wanna add chia seeds some people don't um, when I had this in like restaurants or cafes when I have yogurt cups there when I don't chia seeds usually but then for me it's just like it's just fun having chia seeds you know Kanye girl loves chia seeds because it's a good source of protein and we love we love our protein <laughs> here is the granola with chia seeds on top so it's all coming together now this last ingredient, kasi, it's like super optional lang for me. Eh. Parang, I don't always add it, but if I want to feel fancy, if I want to feel a little bit healthier, I add some fruit. A fruit of choice for today are bananas, and I already have them pre-cut because I want them to look nice when I add them to the yogurt cup. Alright, so that's it. Now it doesn't look like much. I added maple syrup on top, which is super, super optional, like last, super optional na, na last part. But yeah, this is my typical breakfast in the morning before classes start. And I hope that you guys enjoyed staying in my kitchen with me today. See you again, guys.